In this problem, the, draw the shear force and millimoment diagram for the following beam. Here you can see the beam length is equal to uh, 3 meters. Uh, the uniformly distributed load, the intensity of 10 kN, the uniformly distributed load is acting throughout the length of the beam. Okay. Here is the pin supported, here is the roller supported. Okay. When doing this kind of problem, the, as the first step, you have to draw the free body diagram for the entire beam. Okay. Let me draw the free body diagram for the entire beam. Free body diagram for the entire beam. Because uh, we have to find the support reactions. Let's take this point as A, this point as B. Let's take R A at this point R B. Here there is no uh, horizontal uh, forces, lateral forces or horizontal forces. So the there is no uh, the reaction force in this direction that R A X is equal to zero. Only in this direction the reaction is exist. So then uh, the loading. The uniformly distributed load is acting throughout the length of the beam. Okay, first of all, we need to determine RA and RB. The total load acting on the beam is equal 30 kilonewton meter. Then I am drawing the react, uh, resultant of all of these uh, parallel forces due to the distributed load that is equal 30 kilonewton. Okay. Then consider the symmetry R A is equal R B. Consider the symmetry of the diagram, loading diagram. So that R A plus R B is equal 30. So that R A is equal 15 kilo newton. R B is equal again 15 kilo newton. Okay. okay. Then, uh, then we are going to, here you can see, uh, we are dividing the beam into a segment so that the loading within the each segment is continuous. Here, the loading throughout the length of the beam is continuous. So, uh, we can consider this entire beam as a one segment. So, I am going to introduce an imaginary cut. The distance away from the left hand side okay so then i'm going to consider this uh, separated beam part so let me draw the free body diagram for this uh, separated beam segment there's a separated beam segment okay then what are the forces acting on it here 15 15 kilo newton force is acting uh, then uh, let me draw the shear force and this is how we are marking the shear force in positive way and the bending moment this is how we are marking the unknown bending moment uh, positive way this or both the shear force and bending moment acting on this cross-sectional plane acting on the cross-sectional plane okay, let me draw the distributed load also the distributed load 10 kilo newton per meter this beam part length is equal to x okay okay then uh, we are going to find this unknown the shear force and bending moment considering the equilibrium of the this uh, beam segment okay first of all i am going to find the shear force by resolving all the forces in vertical direction here it is uh, 15 here minus 10 into x minus shear force is equal to 0 so then we can obtain the equation of the shear force is equal minus 10 x plus 15 this is the equation for the shear force okay 
Similarly, we can obtain the equation for the bendy moment by taking the moment around this A point. Let's take this A point. By taking the moment around the A point. Minus x divided by 2. That means the resultant of these uh, parallel forces acting throughout the length of the x. I am going to mark in this way. This is equal to 10 into x. The distance x divided by 2. x divided by 2. So that moment produced by this uh, distributed load is equal into 10 into x minus from the due to the shear force shear force into x plus the bending moment is equal to zero by making the bending moment into subject by making bending moment into subject we are getting minus 5 x square plus 15 into x okay uh, now we have obtained the shear force equation and the bending moment equation then we are going to draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram uh, for this uh, beam let's see how to draw that one we are going to draw it just below the loading diagram okay okay uh, first uh, shear force diagram here bending moment diagram this axis x in uh, meters this axis shear force in uh, kilo newton bending moment in kilo newton meter okay then uh, Three meter, three meter. Okay. The shear force at x is equal to zero. The shear force is equal to fifteen. At x is equal to three, the shear force is equal to minus fifteen. Okay, minus fifteen. So then uh, we can draw the shear force diagram that is intersect at the middle this is the shear force diagram this is the shear force diagram okay let me draw the bending moment diagram also here is a quadratic equation here is a quadratic equation the symmetric axis is equal symmetric x is equal minus b divided by 2a x is equal uh, minus b 15 15 divided by uh, 2 into 5 minus that is equal 1.5 okay 1.5 so bending moment at 1.5 so this equation is a uh, parabola having the maximum maximum bending moment you can find by substituting this value in this equation minus 5 1.5 into square plus 15 into 1.5 the bending moment maximum value is equal to 11.25 11.25 a meter so then uh, there is acting at the middle the maximum eleven point two five then uh, x is equal to 0, the value is equal to 0, x is equal to 3, x is equal to 3, 
uh, yeah, that is also equal to zero. So then the parabola, symmetric parabola, we are having. Then uh, this is the pending moment diagram. This is the pending moment diagram. Okay, this is how we are obtaining a shear force and bending moment diagram for this problem.